previously on Chasing Scratch. So we finished up 38 on that side, so 39, 38, 77. And I was only in the rough by a yard or two, but that made a massive difference because I really didn't feel like I could go at the hole or anything like that. So to know but what does it take to be a scratch many people know it takes time but doing what what does it take when you're chasing scratch So here we are, we've got the practice set up. So I've got Nevo out, we're gonna do little wedges here, just do some distance dialing in, keep that up, and just play some games. I've got the camera that I'll use. I'm gonna take it with my phone, uh, with the driver, because I don't use the Mevo that much with my driver, per se, uh, because I'd rather use my alignment rods, which we have here. And that's what we're going to use just to work on getting some start line. I think with me and the driver, it's just getting confident and in all my longer clubs, just getting confident with the curve and a start line to get that ball going where I think I want it to go. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get after it. What's going on, everybody? Week four, we're going to chase scratch and continue to do it. So last week we were out playing, got to play twice. And uh, you know what? Felt pretty good about the game and where it was going and felt like I did see some benefit from the practice I was doing. But a couple of things that I noticed. One, I need to work on the driver. Too many shots out of play. The other thing I need to work on this week is working on dialing in those yardages just even a little bit more with the wedges. I was hit making really, really good contact. Now it's just getting to a point where I feel like we're going to be able to throw some darts with those wedges, which is what you're going to have to do if you're going to make a couple birdies, things like that. Those are things that we need to do to be able to you know, get to our ultimate goal. So starting the week off, still at a 4.5. Handicap did not change have a plan to play once this week but also get in a couple practice sessions that is the goal and if possible maybe sneak in another one but i'm going to be at least playing nine holes with a student so we'll have that and uh we'll go from there So it doesn't look bad. What I see is I'm, I'm, I'm not turning my torso. Now that's something that I know I do. I'm a big guy, so it's a lot of torso to move, but I gotta get that extended a little better. I gotta get turning it a little better so I can use that body, um, especially if I'm gonna try to hit it harder. Cause I think I could use a little, I'm losing a little bit of distance, but I'm also losing, um, you know, the ability to control the club face a little bit with my torso. Your hands and arms are important, but your torso is also important to help make sure that club stays stable. Plus getting more turn should make my path more in to out in the backswing if I'm turning. So that way I could get that draw more consistently. So I think that's what we're gonna look at here.
All right, so good practice session there. Two things I think that really helped. One was just doing some video work and seeing what my swing was doing. One, figuring out that I was two arms, not enough turn. And that's gonna be something I have to work on for sure. But then also just feeling like I keep control of how far back the club is going. That got me into a much better position. Again, in my swing, I mean, I felt like I maybe went back about halfway. And if you actually watch the swings, you'll see I maybe went back five percent less something way less but it felt way better i felt better control of where that that ball was going to start and i felt more in sync with my body and arms so that was really good you saw at the start of the session that's what i'm really trying to fight is with the driver you know i'm thinking i'm gonna hit a draw and i would love to hit a draw that's the shot i like but i'm hitting this ball that's either staying straight or kind of just maybe even slightly fading which isn't that big of a deal but it's the fact that I'm planning on it to draw makes it a bigger miss. So just trying to get that consistent ball flight where I'm, I'm trusting it. I'd rather overdraw it because I'm planning to draw the ball. So I just got to get that curve down. So we're going to keep working on that here throughout the week. All right, day two here this week. So we're actually going to go out and play nine holes. So I'm going to have to kind of string together some nine hole uh, rounds and then you know when you pair those together in the handicap you actually get those to compile as a full score today we're doing one with the student getting ready for a tournament so I'm gonna go play with them and uh, you know we're gonna talk through some stuff so I think it would be helpful help to see some strategy talk and you know see what we got going on so goals for today drive it a little better and uh, get alignment going as well so let's get after it Got 140. 40. I probably 145 here. Now we got wind. Two earnings. And where do you think? Where would, I, where would I rather be? A little long? A little long. Yeah, so I need to think a little more. Yep. So I've got my 150 club. I'm not gonna, just gonna swing a nice good swing at it. Let's see what we can do. Maybe it works out, but if it doesn't, we're okay. we'll just put it out there and see what we got.
All right, so there we go. We got through that nine. One over par, you saw a lot of birdie putts. I just couldn't get one to buy. What I figured out though was I'm just playing too much break. I need to just go at it and try to hammer them in there. Um, so we're gonna work on that, but hit the ball good. A driver still, I got away with it. I feel like at this course where you don't have to be super straight. So I still think we got to work on that a little bit for some tougher tracks, but uh, wedges were looking good. I mean, I had a lot of good looks. Um, you know, I hit the ball really solid. I just have to, you know, just keep going. We're, I feel like we're just getting ready for a breakthrough and everything's gonna start to fall, so. All right, moment of truth. We got a update. We played our round yesterday. So this round should have paired with the first nine I played when we did the evaluation. So we're gonna go ahead, let's take a look. Ooh, there we go, 4.1. Let's see if it gets that far left. Sweet. So we did go down almost a half a stroke uh, when that paired up. So um, I must have lost a score in there. I knew I had one going out, like an 81 or something. Um, so that was good. And then, uh, again, I do think everything's trending in the right direction with what's going on. So I'm enjoying that as well. Um, let's take a look at the stats from yesterday as well. Just kind of get a feel for how that works or you know what, what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week so that's just the process we're going to take a look at the week and go from there so so we got to switch it to nine because i just played the nine yesterday so let's just take a look so this is yesterday 37 par 36 um you can see it's telling me again working on the driver so a theme of everything has been get to the driver um i'm surprised that it's saying my putting was so good um, I guess I didn't hit it super close and I didn't three putt, so that's probably why. But here's the strokes gain. My approach to the green, that was really good. Around the green, uh, you know, I had the one chip that I made bogey on where, I, you know, I only had another chip, one other chip. Well, I had two other chips, but the other one was really difficult. I actually hit probably the best shot I could. And then the other one too was, uh, you know, I had such a bad lie that, I mean, you know, it's a little, you gotta take it a little bit with grain of salt. Um, yeah, you know, not too bad. I mean, I guess just trying to make a few putts now and uh, I think just working on getting the ball in play. You know, again, I think it was, it worked at Inwood yesterday to uh, be able to hit the ball in play because it's, it is pretty forgiving. So, you know, that might not work everywhere that I'm gonna play going forward. So I do wanna drive it a little bit better. So. You know, not a bad start. We're gonna keep working on it. Driver, maybe a little putting, and uh, probably just still a little bit of short game in there as well, although the wedges are uh, looking good. Let's look at those distances too as we go. So you can see that 90 to 110 yard range, uh, I'm actually gaining strokes. So that's where I was working. So that's really good. And I'm barely losing on the 110 to 120. So, uh, you know, I'm, overall I'm gaining strokes there. I'm losing a little bit in the mid iron range, but I didn't have too many of those. Um, yeah, again, I think everything's just trending down. So we're just gonna keep working at it and trying to get those to go down. That's that's the whole name of the game. All right, so we get to see a little bit of reward for that, uh, is being able to see the handicap drop half a stroke. Uh, so that's pretty good. And I think we'll keep seeing that as we keep playing more and more rounds. Again, I, th I feel like, it just feels like the doors are gonna open up here. If I can start making a few putts, we're gonna start seeing some scores get down there. So well, that's what we're gonna be working on and uh, throwing some more darts, but uh, excited where it's going. You can see the process we're doing. We're kind of always evaluating from our rounds. We are putting together a plan of how we're gonna improve, do it and see where you get. And uh, we'll keep doing that. Eventually we'll get to our goals. So we'll get after it. Next week, more rounds. Don't wanna miss them. All right, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next episode.